Hello and welcome my fellow space enthusiasts. Starships' engines have always been the talk of the cosmos. But now, with Raptor 2 proving itself, SpaceX has dared to ask, what if we went even bigger? Introducing Raptor 3, an engine so advanced, it's as if Tony Stark himself whipped it up in his spare time. This beast of a rocket engine is set to redefine space travel, with jaw-dropping, reality-bending upgrades that'll make even Star Wars fans wonder if we're getting closer to the real deal. August has yet again proven to be an amazing month for Starship. Raptor 3 has officially become the next big leap for Starship, and it's got engineers, space enthusiasts, and maybe even the aliens tuning in. Everyday astronaut called it absolutely absurd engineering. And if he's excited, you know it's serious. So what's next for SpaceX with Raptor 3 ready to fire up. Fasten your seatbelts because the final frontier just got a turbocharged upgrade. What if I told you that SpaceX just leveled up their rocket game like Mario grabbing a star? Raptor 3 is not just any engine, it's a next-gen powerhouse that's lighter, faster, and stronger than its predecessors. This beast has a simplified design, crazy amounts of thrust, and mind-blowing efficiency, all while ditching the need for a heat shield thanks to some futuristic regenerative cooling tech. The result? It's quicker to build like Rick himself came to our galaxy and put in all the good stuff. But here's where it gets real. This engine is crucial for SpaceX's ambitious plan to turn Mars into the next hot tourist destination. With Raptor 3, Starship is primed for rapid-fire launches and groundbreaking missions that could reshape the future of space exploration. Buckle up, because this is just the beginning. Visually, Raptor 3 is like a minimalist dream come true, neatly embodying Elon Musk's golden rule. The best part is no part. It's almost as if SpaceX took the chaos of rocket science, gave it a Marie Kondo style makeover and, and voila, Raptor 3 was born. And let's be real, they've been planning this glow up for a while. When Elon finally shared the first image of this sleek engine, he didn't hold back. The amount of work put into simplifying the design, internalizing secondary flow paths and adding regenerative cooling for the exposed parts. Absolutely mind blowing. It's like SpaceX took Raptor 1, gave it a massive overhaul with Raptor 2, and now with Raptor 3. They've made rocket science look like child's play, yet behind that simplicity hides a labyrinth of advanced systems neatly tucked away. One of the coolest changes in Raptor 3, guess what? No more heat shield. That's right, Elon Musk explicitly stated, it no longer requires a heat shield. Everything is regeneratively cooled. Instead of relying on bulky protection, SpaceX has cooked up some advanced cooling systems to handle all that fire reaction during flight, making things both sleeker and smarter. And then there's the other game changer. 3D printing. Musk confirmed that many parts are now 3D printed directly into the walls of the engine talk about cutting edge. This tech was a big leap from Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, and with Raptor 3, SpaceX is basically speedrunning rocket production like it's a video game. SpaceX's Raptor 2 was an engineering marvel, propelling Starship to incredible heights but the journey to Mars. That demands something even bigger. But Raptor 3 isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of rocket engines. With Raptor 3, SpaceX is pushing the boundaries of space travel like never before. Why? Because they're not just looking to visit Mars, they want to build a self-sustaining city there. And for that, they need an engine that's powerful, reliable, and efficient. Raptor 3 fueled by liquid methane and liquid oxygen was specifically designed with Mars in mind, allowing refueling on the red planet itself. It's a key part of SpaceX's long-term vision, but the real magic of Raptor 3 lies in its simplicity. SpaceX's engineers didn't just tweak the design. They went back to the drawing board, stripping away unnecessary parts and optimizing every component. This makes the engine more reliable, easier to manufacture, and less prone to failure. Raptor 3 is like the engine equivalent of a superhero with a built-in cooling system, instead of slapping on a bulky heat shield. Raptor 3 uses a genius technique called regenerative cooling. It circulates fuel around the engine's hottest parts before combustion. This brilliant move not only cools the engine, preventing it from turning into a space-age barbecue, but also preheats the fuel, boosting combustion efficiency. And here's the kicker, no heat shield means less weight, which means more room for payload, more equipment, supplies, everything SpaceX needs to turn Mars into a home away from home. SpaceX didn't just tweak the Raptor 3's design, they straight up revolutionized how it's made to get flanges. Um, SpaceX shifted to welding the engine together, creating a more streamlined production process. This not only makes the engine stronger, but it also eliminates potential leak points. 
making it much more reliable under the insane pressures of spaceflight. With Raptor 3 built for multiple uses, this durability is quite unique. Plus, welding speeds up production and slashes costs crucial for making space travel more affordable and accessible. But wait, there's more. Raptor 3 doesn't just look good on paper, it's a beast in performance. It generates an astonishing amount of thrust, perfect for lifting heavy payloads and launching Starship toward Mars. And while raw power is cool, it's nothing without control. That's where SpaceX's advanced engine cycle optimizations come in, cranking up combustion efficiency so Raptor 3 squeezes out more energy from every drop of fuel. This kind of efficiency means longer ranges, bigger payloads, and best of all, lower costs making space travel more sustainable. SpaceX has some wild ambitions for Raptor 3. They're ramping up production at a pace that's basically unheard of. Why? Because they've got big plans. Multiple Starship missions launching in the next few years, all powered by this engine. And here's the kicker Raptor 3 isn't just a one-hit wonder. It's designed for reusability, meaning these engines can be recovered and used again and again. This is a cornerstone of SpaceX's vision, cutting the cost of spaceflight dramatically and making missions to Mars and beyond not just possible but economically viable. But that's only part of the story. Raptor 3 is the linchpin for SpaceX's grand Mars colonization plans. Its power, efficiency, and rapid production are critical for establishing a human presence on the Red Planet. It is estimated that in order to colonize Mars, SpaceX will have to produce one Raptor 3 every three days. But it hardly seems like a difficult task for Elon Musk and his dedication. Raptor 3 might be our ride to Mars, establishing the colony we have dreamt of in movies and sci-fi, and ever since man started to gaze up at the heavens above in wonder and awe, this powerful engine represents a paradigm shift in space exploration. But here's the thing, it's not just about reaching Mars. This engine is about pushing the very limits of what's possible, inspiring future generations to dream big and finally transcend the bounds of space-time. SpaceX dared to challenge conventional thinking, pushing engineering to the edge, and in doing so, they've built something truly revolutionary. Raptor 3 isn't just an engine, it's a monument to human intelligence and our endless hunger for exploration. This marvel of technology is more than just metal and fuel. It's a symbol of our shared ambition to break free from Earth's gravity and venture into the stars. And let's be honest, if the Millennium Falcon had Raptor 3, Han Solo wouldn't have needed to make repairs every other scene. The endless realities of space are ready to take our minds off of who's going to be the dorkiest US president next. If you liked our video, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon for more space updates. Until next time, see you.